I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Pisces. Now, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, Pisces, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Pisces, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Pisces, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most and which one resonated the most and how it does, because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments, right? If you find some cards that resonate with you, Pisces, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot, Pisces, and I always am super appreciative of it when you take the time to do that for me. Uh, and now, finally, Pisces, this reading here is not here to make a decision in, in your life. Ultimately, it's your life to live, not mine, so I'm not here to make a decision in your life. I'm not here to um, help or tell you what to do, right? I'm just here to hopefully give you some food for thought, something for you to think about as you go throughout your week, right? A perspective to consider. So with all that being said, Pisces, let's get into your overall uh, uh, energy for this week. I apologize. Uh, we have the full moon in eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So this is a very good omen. Uh, Pisces, this is letting me know y'all probably have, you. I mean, judging by your tarot cards I pulled as well, which I'll show you in a moment, but um, you're probably in just like this heavy transitional phase. Um, you also got the Eight of Wands here, which a lot of signs got today, tonight as well. So it's just like a lot of signs, a lot of people are just tapping into their own power. Um, it really, I do feel like, and I know it just does sound like some mumbo jumbo, like um, hocus pocus stuff. And it just sounds so surface level and what have you, Pisces. But I really do feel like the energies of things right now is really setting people up in a place of where they're wanting to or they're really forced in a position of tapping into their own power and really making the changes in their life that they want to see i feel like a lot of people have been put into this position and especially you pisces especially i feel like you guys have probably just been going through a pretty heavy period for this card to come forward um realizing that it's just like nothing positive is going to this sounds so um cynical right but you probably in this mindset where it's like all right since the universe nothing no one wants to help me over here honey if i have to just fend for myself that's fine i guess i'll just uh tap into my own power and be the change that i want to see in the world breaking cycles right breaking out of uh the karmic cycles and dealing with the same things over and over again you're tired of that that's what you're trying to avoid pisces and so i see um, things finally shifting into a positive direction for you. Now, Pisces, I'm going to start pulling some cards while well, I already started for your career, Pisces, but um, I'm going to be doing a row, uh, Pisces, one, a row for your career, a row for your social, social situations, Pisces, and then a row for your overall energy, the, not overall energies, the general messages that yeah, your spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, whatever you believe in, right? So just some general messages to close out the reading, but we're starting out your reading now with my, Pi uh, with for career for my Pisces that are interested in career. I don't know what's going on with me speaking right now. <laughs> I apologize, Pisces. Uh, back of the deck energy, page of pentacles. We're going to keep a note on this, put a pin on this, um, but we're going to address this first, the main cards. We have the two of swords that came out, Pisces, as well as the justice card. Um... I see this of where choice needs a choice needs to be made. It's almost just like a Pisces figuring out the balance of your endeavors and like where you want to go. Because I see with the Two of Swords, like uh, being a fork in the road, a path, deciding that you need to cross. But there is like this level of indecisiveness, this level of where it's just like you want to have like the ignorance is bliss energy almost, where it's just like 
is like you know that you need to like make a choice and like where you want to commit to at this point but it's almost like you don't want to quite commit yet you kind of want to just uh stay in this place where it's just like uh hopefully like things can just be normal and not uh rock the boat too much just for a while maybe you, some of you pisces just want to break right now and that's why you're trying to avoid um making a decision right you have the justice card coming in as well for you so with this it's just like you're just wanting things to be balanced you're wanting things to be stable right now for a lot of you pisces you're probably just not wanting change right and it's again probably because like you've been just going through such a heavy rough period a lot of just shifts in your life right now Pisces and I'm seeing this just like as a like you just had enough you're just ready for a break and I can get that I'm very sympathetic of that right but we have the page of pentacles coming in for you it's that back of the deck energy Pisces this is letting me know of where it's just like you're stepping into a new um the sound just a new um phase i guess a fa i don't want to use the word phase but i guess that's the only word that is fitting for this pisces you're stepping into a new phase in terms of your career for some of you pisces you're just in the sense of getting bossed up right and that might even intimidate you more responsibility is intimidating right um you know part of your reason of not wanting to make a choice right now is because maybe you don't want to admit to yourself that you maybe think that you wouldn't be able to handle it right and that's something we need to figure out hello my god we have the nine of swords that was just a complete intuitive message pisces oh my god <laughs> that was such a genuine reaction pisces that caught me so off guard nine of swords is literally that card of where you're in your head sleepless nights pisces where you're just not sure what choice to make you're not sure if you could handle it if you're up for the competition right uh we have the ten of pentacles here yeah you're just searching for stability here and i see you going into the i feel i i don't know pisces i feel like again because you have that conclusions are within reach i really do feel like you're on the path towards stability pisces and so you just have to not be afraid of this change for a little bit longer you have to not be afraid of going through some uh transitions just for a little bit more sometimes you also have to not be afraid of pushing your own self pisces right you're not going to get to this ten of pentacles this extremely stable stable energy where you have like a happy home it's really just like hap a happy home life things just really um feeling steady and consistent for you um you kind of have to take that risk you kind of have to um, do something Pisces I swear to God I may not be able to speak in y'all's reading but we have the fool coming out come on now and I'm holding like the deck like this and I'm just like pulling him out by the way like oh, this is an insane reading Pisces we are really tapped in to one another um the fool yeah I feel like this is the energy that you have to embrace this is the energy that you kind of have to um be willing to just commit to it and be okay with the fact that you might look like a fool to everybody else. You have to be okay with the fact that you might fall flat on your face as well. Pisces, right? I'm not going to promise you that you're on to your path towards your Ten of Pentacles, towards your path of stability, that you're not going to um, deal with some rough patches, that you're not going to scrape your knee, right? I mean, the whole, that's the whole purpose of living this life right is to build some character is to really um get some scratches get some scars to tell stories about later right if it was so easy to get to that ten of pentacles moment then it wouldn't feel as like so much of a journey wouldn't it be like such a thing to strive for because everyone would just already have it right so it sounds cheesy it's everyone always says it pisces but enjoy the journey for what it is right now you know so let's get into your social situations now pisces yeah, the card already came flying out six of pentacles i was seeing the six of pentacles um come up in the back of the deck while i was shuffling these cards for you pisces but i didn't pull it out just because i didn't feel drawn to but now that it came flying out in the other deck pisces um i guess this is why it needed to come out uh six of pentacles that it is like an energy of um that equal give and take 
again more balance right it really does seem like pisces you're just on this path of just seeking things to just be balanced which is not a bad thing at all don't take it as me like um being judgy at all i get it you want i mean honey i'm a libra so i get it i love that's what i strive for um it just i feel like more so emphasizes and just lets me know just like how unstable your life must just be feeling right now and how chaotic it must be feeling for you to just be in this constant state of wanting to have some balance you have the death card though coming in here so let's get some clarifiers with this as well let's pull some other cards you're having okay this is good so this is letting me know now cancer don't freak out also, can we just appreciate that timing with the cards and what I was saying again? Uh, I almost called you Cancer. Pisces, I we're just so in sync. I love this reading just off of the fact of just how connected <laughs> this is. Um, with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like this is what's happening. I feel like for some of you Pisces, you're in this connection where you're giving energy to something that just wasn't fulfill. Well, I don't want to say it wasn't fulfilling you because you enjoyed the connection, but you feel like you're perhaps the only one putting in the work, right? Or perhaps like there's like a connection that was probably a little bit dry for a while. Um, I do see the ending towards that and I see you guys actually coming together and there actually being a lot more communication. Now I am going to say this might come, uh, be speaking in terms of someone from the past, right? You know, uh, burying the hatchet, right? I am seeing a hatchet being buried. So maybe for some of you Pisces, uh, you're just making amends with someone from your past because you have the two of cups and the king of cups. This is a connection. This is a deep connection. This is something this makes sense as to why you're wanting to just bury the hatchet, uh, Pisces, because this is a very deep soulful connection. Uh, this is something that makes you feel really good and you kind of want that back, right? If this, if this is someone from the past, uh, if it's someone that's just current, you, this, you're just enjoying this energy. I feel as if you're just going into this phase with this person where things just feel really good. Um, emotions are being spoken and it's just like a nice balanced energy, right? Eight of pentacles. Y'all are just learning about one another, right? Y'all are learning about one another. Y'all are just in this place of falling in love with one another right and i say this you, you can fall in love with a friend as well right don't think i when i say that, that i'm only associating it with romantic feelings i mean it can be but um i mean you can have a deep love i mean i say love just because it seems to be like a deep connection here deep emotions being felt so i mean naturally you would have like that deep love for them whether it's platonic or not so now, Pisces, let's get into your final messages, messages from your spirit guide, ancestors, what have you. Ten of Swords comes out. So healing from some type of pain. Yeah, I feel like this is like the card of where the sun is coming up. Things, conclusions are within reach. Like I really do. Oops, I'm so sorry, Pisces. I kicked my tripod. Um, I really do feel like you, uh, you guys are just shifting out of this phase of now not centered, I think. Uh, shifting from this rough period. I really do feel like you, Pisces, y'all have just been put through the ringer and that's why y'all have just been seeking this stability because it's just like, you're just tired. You're so tired of change. You're so tired of just dealing with so much going on in your life, all the chaos. You're just ready to feel like a really grounded energy. You're ready just to be able to like plant your feet on the ground and not feel like you're going to just fall, right? So let's pull some uh, clarifiers for this, Pisces. <clears throat> it's just such a fabulous reading. I'm still gushing about it, Pisces. I think it's always been your sign, Pisces. I always just have such insane, um, such insane um, alignments. What's the word for it? Um, it's not coincidences. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So we have the Six of Wands coming in. This is a victory card. This is like the victory after war, victory after battle, celebrating with your troops, right? So this is, again, like, I feel like y'all Pisces have just been put through the ringer. Y'all are tired. Y'all are just being like, okay, like, finally making it out on the other side. Ten of Cups comes in with the Hierophant. Like, I mean, this, in regards to social connections, this is definitely deep. Like, I mean, I am going to be honest. Like, this is just like life committed energy, 
right? Where you really um, are like, you want to spend the rest of your life with this person, right? After like coming out from like a rough period with them. Hierophant in the Ten of Cups also just means, especially with that victory card, such beautiful cards, by the way. Um, where just you just you get all your cups filled you feel extremely fulfilled it's through this victory it's through this rough period that you just are so much more in tune with yourself it's through this you got really able to connect with your higher self through this and you just really feel in sync with the world um have patience my pisces i really see your story coming insanely beautiful um it's already probably starting for you so um yeah let me know how this reading resonates with you if you gushed as much as i did uh with those uh cards being pulled that i was saying as well but um yeah be sure to give this video a like and subscribe pisces and then i would appreciate it for you to share my channel with a friend that you think might be into my messages until next time pisces i love you so much bye